finally reached adventure rank 40. However, our world level has gone up from 4 to 5 automatically. And that is causing some problems. I wish this game would stop giving me the same dailies on this account. I have had Dangerous Hole about 5 days in a row. I swear, I'm going to change this back to more. Problem starts whenever I have to do my daily commissions and I get a warning in every single area now all the enemies are either amber or red level and this training guide thing says all my characters are weak so what do we do about this relatively simple right build the characters however there is one dilemma you are not guaranteed five star artifacts until you reach adventure rank 45. we are currently adventure rank 40 which means we have five levels to go before we can unlock the domains however rather difficultly the enemies for these domains are all level 90. so even though it says recommend to party level 90 i would like my characters to at least be level 80. And again, the problem with that is all my characters I use are currently level 60. That means this account is going to get a serious makeover. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of 4 Star Only, where we go through the game with only 4 stars. As previously mentioned, our account is going to get a serious leveling up to it, but that's going to take a lot of hard work and quite a long time. So this episode will be split into quite a few parts. Well, I mean, there will be different episodes, but this will sort of be a mini saga in the four star only series. The road to AR45, where we can finally build our characters. In summary, in order to get the best artifacts, we need to level our teams to level 80, or at least a few of our characters. I will probably have to go on co-op to fight the domains. That means technically I only really have to level up one character to level 80. So probably what will happen is, is before AR45, before we ascend to world level 6, because I think there is a, an ascension quest. I would like to get one of my teams to at least level 70 and one of my characters to level 80. So we sort of got current teams right now. I just wonder what teams can we put these guys in. So yeah, I want to keep Garming as my main DPS. I kind of really want to switch things up a little bit to be honest. I definitely want to pair Garming with Bennett. I did not have Bennett when I built Barbara but now we have Bennett. I really, really like to add Bennett onto the team. Okay. I don't know if I want to do a vape or a melt team on this guy. I would assume a melt team. But apparently his best team is vape, so I might actually do that. Apparently vape is Garming's best team. Didn't know that, so maybe we can put Zingcho. It's fine as long as we don't put Jangling on here. And then apparently like they like an Animo. I don't really have any Animo. The only Animo character I have is Hazo and Lynette. Uh, because I don't have Sucrose. Sucrose would be the ideal here, but I do not have her, so potentially Lynette might be good. So Zincho is our Hydro Applicator, Gumming's our DPS, Bennett will be our driver. Then we'll use it, we need Viridescent Ven- Ven- uh, and probably get rid of Layla because I do not want him shattering, which I think kind of screws over his damage a little bit. Apparently I could just use Lynette, so I might use Lynette for now as my VV shred. So to explain this team, Garming will be our main DPS, so he'll be doing the majority of the damage and driving that damage. Bennett will be giving support through healing, but also he can give an attack buff through the Pyro Resonance, which gives an attack buff, which gives increased attack, as well as his burst, which also gives increased attack. Jingcho will be the main Hydro Driver and will be helping Garming make the Vaporize reaction, basically being a sub DPS while also doing plenty of damage himself. Lynette will be our animo support so she will eventually hold a four piece viridescent viridescent venera or VV for short and she'll be enhancing the pyro 
and hydro damage that Garming, Bennett, and Xingqiu do. So this will be our new team. And we'll name it Team... Well, let's just do New Team 1, I suppose. New Team 1. The second team, I have no idea, but we'll just focus on this one for now. What do we need? We need to go fight this guy again. On one hand, I could put my world level down to world level 4 until we get sorted out. But at the same time, I kind of want the increased drops that world level 5 gives us. So I don't know if I should do that. I will probably enlist the help of some friends to <laughs> admittedly, or else to be honest, we're going to be here for absolutely forever. So we'll probably be doing that to get coming up. Ooh, it's going to be crazy. Anyway, let's get started and I'll post a training montage, maybe. This is just we do a training montage? I think we should do a training montage. If you're enjoying this video so far, please consider liking and subscribing. It means the world to me as a small YouTuber and tells me that you're really liking these videos. Okay, that's everything. We have all the Ascension boss materials that we need to ascend our four characters. The only thing we need to do is get the rest of the Ascension materials and the rest of the chunks, etc, etc. I actually went on the Hoyaverse website and figured out what exactly I need to ascend everybody and I've got a lot to do, especially in terms of weapons. So I decided to change Garming's and Lynette's weapon. I'm going to give Bennett Zing Cho's weapon, the Alley Flash, because that has the highest four star base attack in the entire game. And Bennett only basically scales off base attack, not attack percent. So I'm going to give Zing Cho the Pavodia Sword, which has a lot of energy recharge, as I do not have the sacrificial sword, so we'll just go with the Pavonia Sword for now. And for Gar Ming, I want to give him the Tidal Shadow. It is the best craft weapon for a gaming. I would have liked to give him Rain Sasha. I do not have Rain Sasha. So I think that Tidal Shadow will be the best weapon for him. After the reel is healed, attack will increase for 24% even when not on field. So that's actually pretty good because Garmin does heal themselves. And for Lynette, I'm going to give her the finale of the deep. Uh, it's kind of irrelevant, but it, it increases her attack. And I just think it's, you know, it's it, it's, it's an okay weapon, but it's, it's kind of the best they have. I would have put her on Favonius Sword, but Zincho has my only Favonius Sword. So I guess we just got to go with the free craft weapon. So in order to do that, I need to get 10 Bullfruits, 10 Tridalgias, and 10 of these stones. I don't really know what the stones are called. Condescent crystals. Okay, now we actually have to craft these weapons. I forgot I had to do that. <laughs> 50 of these, seriously? <laughs> this is too much. Although I think I can change Northlander into Midlander billets, right? Because I have a Northlander Claymore, but I do not have a sword. Yeah, so if I get to uh, Dream Solvent, then that's more complicated than I thought it would actually be. Yay, we get five intertwined fates after the 
brilliant login. After the brilliant done login event. Are we due a four star? No, because we got Xin Yan. Let's see if we get anything though. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. Nope, unfortunately not. Well, we can get another intertwined fate from the shop. Nope. Unfortunately, we have to wait a little while. We should probably quit school quick start this quest as well to get Kachita because if we don't it could be a while considering on this account I haven't even done Inazuma. I will try and do the Archon quests but as this account is more focused on building the characters I'm less inclined to spend a lot of time than like 20 hours doing the Archon quests on this account although I might do it for gems so I, I probably will eventually do the Archon quests, but I just kind of want to get Kachita quickly. Is this why they- I, I've always wondered why they even did the focus experience mode to be honest, because for a normal player, I don't know why you would do this unless you were on a alternate account or doing this. Well, I guess it's good for those who run challenge accounts like me to skip ahead. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think that the story skipping feature in 5.0 is a good idea or not? I called it four star. I didn't know what else to call it, to be honest. So let's go with that. There we go. Kachina is here. There we go. Kachina's become your companion. There she is. Although I don't think I'm going to be building her anytime soon. Just because of the amount of characters I have to build. I definitely wanted Kachina. So, because I wanted to build her. Maybe with... I definitely want to still do a four star geo team eventually. So having Kachina on a mono geo team would probably be very fun. I could have her with Ningguang. I want to I wanna do a ton of different teams eventually and use as many characters as possible. Obviously that isn't... It's quite difficult and I have limited resources. So she will be level one for now. But don't worry, she will be used here eventually. Actually, yeah, she mentioned the flowers are so cute. All right, everyone, that's it for this episode of Four Star Only. We have come a long way. This saga, the road to AR45, will be continued in the next episode. So, I'll see you then.